so I'm gonna do my makeup, but I wanted to talk about like fake tan really quick. I will fake tan with the Sugar Baby like ultra dark fake tan or whatever it is. It has like the kind of tan that you put on like you sleep in it and then you wake up and you're tan. I have it like on my face and everything and on my body. But what I also have on my body and what I wanted to tell you about was this. This is the LA Tan Luxury Sunless Mousse in Medium Dark. Now, it's a streak-free two to three week tan instant color. Okay, I got this at Walmart and I want to say it was like four bucks. Something, it was really cheap. I got it because I was just trying a bunch of different sunless tanners to just see what would work. And it's marketed as like... A, a tanner like something you put all over your body wait a few hours wash it off and you're tan this absolutely sucks as a fake tan but I love this as like a body bronzer I have it on my chest and stuff right now and you can see how much like darker and browner my chest area my shoulders are compared to my face because I didn't put this on my face I just have the um, sugar daddy sunless tanner so I want to show you the difference on my arms I haven't put it on like my forearms yet I just put it up here because I wanted to put my top on and stuff and then I just pump it like straight into my hand because I it literally washes right off okay so you can see the difference that makes you can put this on if you already have fig tan on you can put this on if you're like a white pasty ghost and you want color for one night like you can use it just like any other type of body bronzer. I like it because it dries super quick, it doesn't rub off on my clothes, I mean it'll be fully dry in like 5 or 10 minutes. It doesn't smell bad, it smells like a lotion, it doesn't smell like a sunless tanner, which is also why I really like it. So I just thought I would throw that in there because I just, I love it so much. This stuff is great. Not as a fake tan, as a body bronzer. I'm personally of the opinion that different tans work for different people because it's gonna, you know, go with your body chemistry differently. It's gonna look different over your natural skin tone. If you're already really yellow based in skin tone and you get a very golden fake tan, it's probably gonna look fucking crazy. So just keep that in mind and just try stuff, find what works for you. Also, if you're curious, this like strappy top is from Forever 21. They have a lot of stuff like this. This one's really comfortable, it's really soft, it's honestly like pretty secure. I don't have the biggest boobs in the world, but it's pretty secure. I love going to like Forever 21 and stores like that for stuff like this for festivals. And I, I normally go to like indoor raves, I guess, at like clubs and shit. So um, I like getting this this kind of level of stuff because I know that I'm probably going to get a little bit sweaty, probably going to get alcohol spilled on me, so like <sighs> Forever 21 is like the price range I guess that I go for and they have a lot of these like strappy fun um, bras and crop tops and stuff and also you should check out their um, athletic section because their sports bras are really cool too and they're not like too binding I guess like they're not like suck you in kind of sports bras they're like cute sports bras that you would do like yoga in not play sports you know what I mean I'm gonna go through this side of my face really fast if you can hear my dog chewing on his bone I'm sorry I'm gonna go through half this half of my face I'm doing two different halves to my face so I'm gonna go through this one really really fast because you know just it's it's the basic side this is completely up to you as far as what you feel comfortable putting on your face I can make recommendations but ultimately it is up to you and what works for you you can test different products you can test different techniques beforehand I don't think that if you're going to an outdoor festival or a rave that super heavy is going to be your friend either you want no foundation if you feel comfortable with that or you want something really light that you know is going to wear off well i just want like the smallest amount of coverage i have some you know of uh, discoloration i have like a, just a tiny tiny bit of redness which i don't ultimately care about because um i'm gonna get hot and whatever anyway but just a slightly even out the skin tone. I have a little bit of acne scarring. You know, whatever. This is going to fade away nicely and at the end of the night no one's really going to give a shit. So, um, this is like for the pictures beforehand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's going to wear nicely so you won't look, um, you know, crazy and you won't look like 
I don't, even if you have like oily skin, I don't really recommend and like I'm trying to match my neck I didn't put that bronzer on my face so you can see that even though my face is fake tan it's still lighter than my chest so I'm trying to match it I feel like it's should be more of your goal to wear something that's going to fade nicely than to try to pack stuff on and force it to stay does that make sense so I just rub this in with my fingers. It's like a light to medium coverage and it's it looks fine. It looks nice. It looks luminous. It evens out my skin tone just the slightest amount. It's good to go. You're going to look like way 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 crazy if you try to like, you know, put on a full coverage and like pack it with powder and try to like force it to stay because you start you're going to get cracks and you're going to be sweating and it's going to sweat weird and it just to me that's like a a losing battle. And just go in and dust a really light amount just with a big ass brush. This is the Morphe E41. And just go and do like the lightest layer. It's probably not even going to take like a lot of the shine away or anything. It's just going to set this down the slightest, so lightest bit. I feel like on camera I look so crazy on the camera like in the viewfinder it looks like I have like that bodybuilder like spray tan on but in person I'm like I barely look any different than like my normal color then I'm going to take the Sonia Kashuk bronzer with that same big fluffy brush and just whew, that is a lot that is a lot I forget how pigmented that shit is just blend I always blend like way into my head because I have no hair. You don't have to be this crazy. If you're just going to put on like makeup, like regular, pretty, you know, standard makeup, my rule of thumb, I guess, is to just wear something that's going to wear away nicely. Then I'm going to go in with, this is Mellow Wine blush from Wet n Wild. If you get really, really red, then probably don't even put on blush because when you get hot, it's you're going to get red anyway, but I'm going to put a little bit on. Same brush and everything. Like, I just want to look really blown out and really pretty. I don't want to look like too structured contour. We're going to do all the crazy shit on this half of my face, so don't even worry about that. I'm just slapping this on. I almost wanted to look like a no makeup makeup and then like crazy on one half. So you'll see when we get there. That's why I'm doing this side first because it's like boring and quick. I'm going to highlight. You don't have to. I'm going to use this because we're going to use this on the other side of our face. So I'm going to take this center color just a little bit. Nothing cray cray. I'm going to use the Make It Last by Milani as a setting powder. Setting powder as a setting spray. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrow off camera, just this one, and then I'll be all right back. I use the L'Oreal Plumper, whatever it is, it's rubbed off. It's their brow stylus, and then I use the Zoeva Brow Spectrum Palette to fill in my brow. Um, I obviously don't have that much brow, and I don't worry about covering it up. I think you can slick it down enough with eyeliner, but I like to um, go above my brow to start the eye socket. I like to start by at least outlining. I'm probably not going to fill in all of the black just yet, but I like to outline where it's going to be because if you try to like put white in later, it's obviously going to get all muddy and not look so good. You can do this as realistic or as unrealistic as you want ultimately. Obviously, if you have more hair than me, you don't have to go this far into your hairline. Um, but to kind of make this work, I do. This is just more of like an idea for you 
I'm gonna drag it down my neck. You don't have to drag it down at all. You can drag it down further if you want. You can do whatever you please. I decided I hate this and I'm gonna wipe it all off for now. Now just take any black eyeshadow that you have. I'm going to use the one from the Morphe M3502 palette and just set all of this down. So I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil in white for my whole noggin. Well, this half of it anyway. And just kind of roughly get it on there. I'm going to blend it out in a second. I don't necessarily want it to be like perfectly opaque white but I do want it to be like pale bone color kind of situation you can use the black NYX Jumbo pencil for like all of the black parts I just I thought I had one but I don't know where it is I don't know what's more monotonous, this part or the teeth. Honestly, I feel like adding the, the things I'm going to add, adding the colors at the end, I feel like is like the easiest part. This is, it's kind of long. It's just like a, a process and it's monotonous, but it'll look cool, so it's worth it. I don't really concern myself with the teeth being overly realistic. I think as long as you kind of get the point across that their teeth, uh, you're gonna be fine. So, line straight down the middle and you want to make these kind of long and then you want to make them parallel the whole way um, or at least that's what I do. You can use the same eyeliner, but I'm going to go ahead and take like back with my pencil, sharpen it up a little, and start uh, making them pointed. So you're going to want to do a triangle in like the top of each one, if that makes sense. Okay, well I think I just did the whole top without recording, but we're going to do the bottom now. And you want to keep it kind of the same level all the way across. And then I'm going to kind of do like some on the outside. Now I'm not going for overly realistic. I just want to get like the essence of teeth if that makes sense. Then I'm going to take a black and kind of do the same thing, but also redefine like in between the teeth. Then I'm gonna take like a fluffy brush. Let me take one that I won't use later. This is just another like no name brush and a little bit of like a gray and like barely, barely blend this out over here. Like I still want some lines, but I want it to be the most blended on this. Do some circles, you know, get like a rounded shape, kind of cover up those back ones so it looks like just touch my face so that it looks like there's um like depth happening and then I'm gonna go back and kind of redefine some of the lines a little bit 
and there you go then i'm gonna take a liquid white eyeliner and start touching in very white parts of the teeth i'm not i'm not gonna fill in the whole tooth but i'm gonna make some sections brighter than others and a little bit less towards the back. Just to at least give a small illusion of depth. You know what I mean? I'm gonna use that NYX highlighting palette that we used earlier, because it does have some fun colors in there and these are super shiny. And I'm also gonna use this NYX palette because this one is pretty iridescent. This one's dark, but it's pretty shiny. This one's really nice and iridescent, so I'm going to use this. Now, you don't need to go buy this palette. If you're looking at this palette and you're like, I'm never going to use that shit, you don't need this. You can just use, you know, whatever you have on hand, whatever, excuse me, shimmery eye, whatever shimmery eyeshadows that you have on hand. Or, I am using this individual from NYX. It's like a group. I'm not using it anymore because it just shattered. Oh, no. I hate myself. Gosh darn it, Lauren. So what you could do instead of getting this, if you really just want a palette of fun colors, is you can go to NYX. You can go online or in a store if there's one close to you, and they have like four or eight palettes, like kind of like this where they have a clasp, and they have little sections so you can get a bunch of individuals and just put them in there. You can get all iridescent colors for stuff like this, make your own colorful fun palette, NYX for me is kind of the way to go. I'm first gonna start with this color because it's really white, but it's really shiny. It's not like white, white, but I'm gonna start with this. I think I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it over all of the white. I want all of the white to be really shiny. We'll start with this yellow one to get the the color colorfulness going. We'll do this. I'm just gonna put these in random places. I don't really have a uh, um, general like I don't know exactly where I'm gonna place these. I'm just kind of gonna wing it. I am going to pack them on because I want you to see the different colors though. Although they're iridescent and they'll be shiny, when you like turn your head you'll be able to see the different colors. I'm going to take this iridescent purple color from that same NYX face highlighting palette. Now I'm going to go in with this shattered like seafoam green color. Oops. Mm, yep. Oh, I like that. I like that. See where I got it on the black? I'm just going to cover that up with black eyeshadow later. Are you not close enough? I'm so sorry. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with this, the NYX eyeshadow palette and this dark blue. It's really dark, so I'm gonna have to add it in like multiple places to make it kind of flow, but it is pretty shiny. So I'm just gonna go in with like a light amount. 
you know what I'm actually gonna mix the purple and the blue together just to lighten up the blue and make sure it's not like too crazy so I'm gonna take it right here Let's take, I'm gonna take that sea foamy green again. Put it right here. So now, gonna just I just you know keep blending keep doing different colors keep I mean just do whatever you want until you're like satisfied with how everything looks I'm using this very pink one from this highlight palette for right here you know no matter how many colors you use just kind of you know Keep going back and forth until they're blended how you like or there's enough, you know, differentiating color and all of that. Um, it's really personal preference when it comes to a lot of this. So I'm going to take a little bit of the dark blue, but like the tiniest bit, mostly that purple. And I'm just going to kind of deepen right here. Cause it'll actually kind of add to the the contour part but still be shiny from the side if that makes sense so so there's that then let's do some more of this I want to do some purpley purple right here. I mean, I'm just going back and forth. I'm mixing sometimes. I'm leaving the colors alone sometimes. You know, get your own, get your own thing going. You can stick to like one color palette, one color like range. If you want to do different shades of blue, whatever, like literally whatever you want. This is from NYX, um, but I feel like a lot of people maybe have um, the Urban Decay ones, so hopefully you have something, or at least like a loose glitter or something. I'm going to let it transfer now because that's going to happen anyway for me, so I'm going to look all the way up, see where the glitter transfers to, and then just make it like a clean line all the way up. That way it at least looks purposeful and not so like just a wreck. There's messy and then there's purposeful messy, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take that seafoam color and pack it over the glitter. Just pop on whatever mascara you like on this like no makeup makeup side I only put it on the top because I feel like it looks weird on me if I put it on the bottom with no other eye makeup on but you can just do whatever you want I put it on the top and bottom on the other side um, you can add lashes but I don't know I don't feel like it's overly necessary for like this kind of look but if you really feel comfortable and you're really confident and you feel like they're not gonna fall off or bother you then go ahead and pop on some lashes um, I just don't feel like it's overly necessary unless you're just really into lashes. I'm just going to use this e.l.f. What is this? The matte lip color. This is like my everyday. I use this like every day. 